Welcome to LT Not Top 10. We're gonna show you some of the mistakes and pitfalls from around the lawn. Here we go. So some of these are my mistakes, our mistakes. Um, I put together this list. Leftel has not seen these, so his reaction is genuine. That's right. <laughs> That's all I know. Coming in at number 10, do not trust left tool to mow your lawn half of the time when you're sharing a yard and using a manual reel mower. Uh, I think that's uh, a mother-in-law. <laughs> you're not even mowing it, you're making her do it. But look how overgrown it is. See how overgrown yeah. that is and how it's obviously very difficult for her to push the manual reel mower. Basically, the real mistake or pitfall here to avoid is if you're gonna use a manual reel mower, don't underestimate it. You're going to have to mow, uh, what do you think, three well, times on, a week? Uh, she's just, she's on your half of the yard, I like to point out. She's no, wait, wait, almost she's, getting to mine. <laughs> well, I think mine's good. She did the whole thing. It's just, uh, she's turning around, she's only doing your side. <laughs> Maybe I paid her to do my side. And at number nine, this one is my mistake. So when we did our sand leveling project on my backyard, we put it pretty thick everywhere. There's one spot on the north side of my house where it gets pretty shady, and that spot never completely filled in. I just recently dug it out into a flower bed, because I always say that if there's a spot you can't mow, turn it into a flower bed. Um, basically, whenever I would go over that with my triplex mower, it would dig into the sand, because there was always sand there. So keep in mind, if you've got Bermuda grass, you're in the shade, probably not gonna fill in. So if, sand, if you're sand leveling, if you're top dressing, do that lightly. And coming in at number eight, I don't even know if you know about this one. Do you remember when Luker, what do we call him, muscled up tool, um, and I yeah. put diesel in the diesel exhaust fluid tank in the skid steer? I, I do not remember that. I don't know if you were, I don't think you were there, but um, diesel we were both exhaust standing there. I'm just learning there is such a thing as a diesel, whatever you say. Well, and I figured people might want to learn. So, you know, heavy equipment these days has a diesel DEF tank, D-E-F. Diesel exhaust fluid, I think is I what I didn't know what DEF for. stood for. <laughs> okay, I know what Def. you're talking about. And that is not to where you put the diesel. We, we, I don't know how Luker like realized it before we started running it, luckily. Had to drain it, it was, a, it was a huge pain in the butt. So anyway, pay attention to your tanks. Coming in at number seven. I think you do remember this one. Oh yeah. Uh, luckily I did not get involved into it because uh, <laughs> that, that's gotta be one of my like deepest fears too, like getting stuck somewhere. I'm not gonna mud. lie. No, when I was dry, like I went into that deep spot of mud and sunk the skid steer and I was for, a, I don't know, two seconds or however long it took to sink that far in the mud, I was afraid I wasn't gonna stop. Like I was like, I don't know how deep you'll go before you just sink completely. Well, it's not the fear of like sinking forever or something. It's just that whole like. Oh, not sinking forever, but sinking until there's mud. Oh, I up thought you were. <laughs> until I die. I thought you thought you were gonna just keep going. Like, no, no. Like quicksand or something. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quick, so you thought you were in quick mud. <laughs> quick, yes. So we sunk the skid steer. Um, my dad came out. He brought Wait the a tractor. second. So he brought that tractor, and you had to pull both of the tractors. Dad out? brought the tractor, and then he couldn't get it out, so he had to call Bobby Crine. Bobby Crine bought his backhoe, and the backhoe pulled it out, and then the backhoe got stuck, and then that tractor pulled yeah, the backhoe that's, out. That's so, just a, uh, yeah. I, I I knew of when this was happening. I was like, I'm getting far away from here. I did not want to deal with. <laughs> didn't want to come over and help me. No, no. But going along with sinking things in the mud is <laughs> number six, where I sunk mom and dad's lawnmower in almost that same spot before my house was built, actually. I borrowed mm. their lawnmower to mow my lot before they had even built anything out there and sunk it, got, I think, the car, truck, maybe went and borrowed a truck at the time. I didn't have a truck or even the Jeep at the time, so borrowed a truck from somebody and pulled it out with chains or whatever. Uh, fake left tool was there for me with that one. Ah, yes. I had to think <laughs> about that for a second. Uh, I've gotten the mower stuck a few times on, uh, so, uh, like, it's like a hill and then it's got the ditch and it was a little bit wet and I thought I could creep in there and mow it and it just kept going and I got stuck. And sometimes, not a good feeling. Sometimes just unavoidable, but it's one of those things you always do need to keep in mind. Speaking of sinking lawnmowers in mud, <laughs> number five comes to you from our friend B. Davis. All right. <laughs> there he is. Roll yeah, I remember him coming. Oh yeah, no, I remember this. B is that me? Out there I was. Out there in the green, yeah. And B yeah. Davis sunk the now, Greens Master. You'll he see is, it. This, you can hardly call this a fail. That was his first time to a new definitely area. on a triplex. Well, true. And yeah, it's a new person's house, so we, you were able to just push it out? With yeah, yeah. With your muscular well, I mean, yeah. hips or you whatever? Know, me, I don't know if you could. I didn't help, yeah. no. So that's yeah, why when I was your when I was your neighbor, I didn't have spots like this. Right. 
your house is in a river bed. It's kind of like Shrek's Smarsh. Smarsh? <laughs> is it Marsh? Shrek's Marsh. Swamp. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, it's the end of my swamp. So our friend here from an a unnamed Facebook group, an unnamed guy posting, uh, used some cheap fertilizer. Some cheap, I don't know what brand it was he didn't put on there, but cheap 10-10-10 fertilizer, put it out on his lawn, and then found a bunch of rocks in it. Basically, the pitfall uh, yeah. is that cheap junk, they use rocks, and like a little real, tiny the, filler. And he real mows? Well, yes, that's what they said. Anybody who's using a real mower, that's bad. I guess if you were using a normal lawn mower, it probably wouldn't matter, but yeah. Nice. So I don't know if it's like a powder, where it spreads, I don't know. So what mine was, the same thing, I have those little rocks on my yard. It happened to me last year and I was confused. This year, the timing was right where I figured it out. It was my pest control company that put out pesticide that was a granular and it had that junk in it. So I have switched pest control companies that, to guys that only use the liquid now. Coming in at number three, our friend Clint from the Southern Lawn Syndicate over there on Facebook sent this, or he posted it, and I found him, I said, hey, can we share this? Because what he did was he, po he or put out Spectacle Flow, which is a pre-emergent. Um, looks, looks like a nice little lawn to me. Well, no, I know, it's not that bad of a, of a mishap, but what he did was he calculated the amount that needed to go out on his yard, sprayed it everywhere, and then said, hey, I'm gonna go back next to the curb, because that's where most of the weeds it's, pop up. It's dead on the curb. And it's dead, there. yeah, so he over-applied next to the curb, because he just wanted to do one more pass. I'll just go with my wand and do one more pass right next to the curb, did it heavy, and that was in the fall, so it actually pre-emerged the, the Bermuda there. It'll fill in just fine. But, uh, no, I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd do that. Coming in at number two. Now this person did not request to remain anonymous. I, they just didn't get back to me and I didn't know if they wanted to remain anonymous, so I'm leaving their name out of it. So I come across this Facebook post and it says, question, leveled a low spot in the yard with masonry sand and realizing it would, not realizing it would harden, mortar-like. Any recommendations on how to best solve this issue? And then I was like, wait a minute, what? Hardened? Like people talk about that with sand, but it's not actually really a thing. So somebody in the comments wisely asked, do you have a photo of what it looks like now? And this is what we got. And everybody in the replies to that photo in the comments was saying, oh boy, not sand, not sand. That's not sand, that's not sand. And then I talked to him, I had messaged him a little bit and we confirmed that it was not sand. This was paver set or mortar <laughs> of some sort. Oh. So he concreted his lawn uh, <laughs> instead of putting sand out. Wow. <laughs> uh, that so, sucks. So he now has a patio. So it was, it was uh, yeah, like mortar masonry, masonry mix. Masonry mix, yeah, instead of masonry sand. Um, oh, yeah, right. I could see that. Coming at you at number one, our top pitfall. Pitfall probably fits this one pretty well. Leftel, what do you see there? I see a little uh, drainage ditch of some sort, maybe. Doesn't uh, seem like that big a deal to me. Okay, go. To, <laughs> this is the backyard. Uh, that seems a little different. A little bit bigger. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah. He's got a cave under his house. So they started digging. He says, "Hey, lawn care company." Oh, I jump. bet. Is that a? Can I take a guess? Yeah. Is the big old uh, uh, poop drain thing? What do they call it? No, that's not a oh, septic tank. Septic tank. <laughs> there. Oh, There's he had a trash. whole. Uh, <laughs> he had a dump underneath his house. Yeah. What in the world? Michael from Georgia sends us these pictures and says, anybody in Georgia, you need to watch out if your house was built in the 80, late 80s, early 90s, or somewhere around that period, because his lot was used as the dump for the neighborhood. They dumped all that trash there, and then they just built the house on top of it. Michael tells us that these trash pits are apparently a thing, because he had you know, done tons of research because of what happened to him and found lots of other examples of this happening to people. This isn't so much a mistake. Obviously, there's no way that Michael could have known that this was under his house. And it was under the corner of his house too, which is why you see like a big cave under there where they had to dig out all that junk and then put pillars under and all this sort of stuff to build it back up and then fill it back in. Um, costing lots and lots and lots of money. And as you can imagine, any construction company that would have built the house in the late 80s is no longer around. So any kind of legal action, nothing. But yeah, this isn't a mistake of Michael's. There's not really any way you could know that. I feel like that could happen to anybody. So, so Michael is our winner by far, um, as far as lawn pitfalls. So Michael's actually gonna receive a prize. He sent me a photo of his lawn currently. He's doing pretty well, keeping the lawn looking nice. Um, but there is a little bit of drainage issue on the other side of his lawn. So the lawn tools is actually gonna send him 
some drainage, some pipe and some um, drain basins, catch basins, whatever, to put in a uh, yard drain in his yard. So there's our prize on this episode of LT Not Top 10. And by the way, none of this was to shame anybody. We were actually thanking anybody for participating and showing their mistakes or the pitfalls that they've run into because it's helpful for the rest of us to learn and hopefully avoid some of these same things. Yeah, thank you. We could all do this for sure. Submit your videos or pictures to either the lawn tools at gmail.com. You can send them to me. You can DM to me on Instagram or Facebook or use the hashtag on any social media. We'll use hashtag LT not top 10 and then we'll find it from there. We can contact people and see if you make it on the next episode.